welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing a red hat Christmas nail design but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe before you leave and turn on the notification to get notified of my next upload and with that being said let's get on with the video so for this design I'm going to be using this nude color from model ones and this red color from Macar. and if you're interested on reviews of these gel polish kits beforehand it's going to be linked somewhere in the top right corner so the first thing I do is add the base coat onto all my nails and after I added it I cure it for 60 seconds now this is the normal speed as I work you know I'm not going that fast or that slow I'm just being careful because I don't want to flood the cuticle area and I want to make sure that I actually covered the entire nail with the base coat and if you're a beginner and you're worried that you're going to flood your cuticles or if you already did flood your cuticles, you can always go back with a cleaning brush or your proper nail, you know, your natural nail and clean around the cuticle. But this is me speeding up the video because no one wants to see the video for like one hour, two hours. So now if you're a beginner, don't worry or think that you have to add the base coat onto all of your nails beforehand and then cure it you can always go one by one and if that's what you prefer you can do that i actually sometimes do that because i don't want anything to get stuck on that tacky layer that the base coat leaves so i am now adding the first layer of the nude poly gel the gel polish sorry guys i'm used to saying poly gel so much and this is a beautiful color like you see it here is like oh with the one coat is enough but in reality you have to add more than one or two because when you wipe it you're still gonna see the lines the line streak you, you know you can see it right there but hey not everyone tries to paint their base layer or base color all in one go usually a lot of people like to do one at a time and guys a good technique that I learned on how to use a gel polish or paint your nails with gel polish is that you first start by applying the color in the tip and halfway and whatever is left of the brush or the color on the brush is what you use to paint your cuticle area because that helps you not flood it since it's less color and less pigment. It's better off that way. And I didn't know that until I saw something on Instagram. And guys, I am sorry with the lighting changing and stuff. I don't know what happened. I kind of like looked at the clip and I was like, why is it looking orange and bluish? But I don't know, I was, you know, using ring lines and stuff like that, and it's still on the white color. I don't know why it keeps changing, but hey, I'm going to try to get better lighting for the next videos and stuff. But since we're here, you can see that I'm adding more than one layer and cleaning around the cuticle area. Now, for this design, I also got inspired by a post that I, that I saw on Instagram, and the girl actually showed how to do it, and this is how I learned how to do a better French tip. If I don't got that squishy sponge that you see on TikTok, you can actually try it this way. I'm going to insert a clip right here. And guys, this woman is a goddess creating nail designs. I tried doing exactly what she did, but never got the perfect shape like she did. Exactly like those white puffer things for the hat. Guys, it was amazing. Guys, I am sorry for this clip. It keeps blurring out, but this is how I normally work in a normal more speed for a nail art or a nail design. And I am doing the same trick that I showed you on the previous little video of the add-in of the girl doing the nail design. She added the first the line down the middle into the point where you want the smile line to end. 
and then she drew like a little half moon to one side and connected it into sh where she wanted it to end and then she did the same thing to the, to the other side she did have a thinner brush i think i don't know but i'm trying to get a thinner brush so i can actually work better but this is how i did it and don't worry guys if it doesn't come out perfect like for example right there you can always fix it and clean around it and stuff but this is a perfect way for you to always get that perfect smile line guys now since you connected and everything you're going to fill it in you can use the gel polish brush but to, to be honest i do use the detail brush because i don't want to damage anything because you can see right there i overlined a little bit but i am going in with the cleaning brush and cleaning around it and perfecting everything but this red i think it's a little bit too pinkyish and you have to do more than one layer so it can actually look reddish but guys i just fall in love with this color this nail design this boom 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 because i think it's the first time that i actually do a nail design perfectly and i don't mean it's perfect but for me it is and i love it and the best thing is that it's so simple that everyone can do it and guys i know it's late for christmas this is a late christmas nail design but i was too lazy to edit and upload and stuff i did record it so like five six videos beforehand but like i said i didn't want to edit anything it was so hard and so i'm trying right now to add it before you know the new year's end so i can do new year's design and you know snowflakey stuff because i know snowflakes the holidays are still not over and even though it's not christmas it's still snowing so i can still add snowflakes designs to this youtube channel and to clarify where i am is not snowing it's a tropical island so it's not snowing but i imagine everywhere else is you know canada and stuff like that And guys, I'm doing a giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below your Instagram handle for a chance to win. Picking the winners at 1K subscribers. So there's different ways that you can actually create this French smile line. You can do exactly what I'm doing or that fancy new TikTok trend that you use a like a silicone brush or silicone sponge and you add the color to the sponge and then you press it against the nail tip. But I have tried that and a lot of the times it kind of gives me on lined French tip smile lines and with this method that i'm doing right here i can actually align it to the exact place that the other one was aligned to
So after I created the French tips, I am adding the little tail to the hat and adding it like a little triangle with a little bend to the side. And then after that, I will add the white pom-pom on the end. I'm now looking at it everywhere. I wanted to see if it's perfect and adding like a little bit more reddish. So it's a little bit more red. And like I said, after doing the red thing, I'm adding the white pom-poms and trying to create that pom push kind of thing. I don't know how it's called, but you know, the thing that goes around the hat, the white stuff. And sorry guys, if I'm out of frame, is that I'm trying to create that design. And it was a little bit too hard because I tried it like three or four times and it couldn't come out. So this is the last attempt of me trying to recreate that thing like it came out in the video but it didn't so this is the end result i'm cleaning it a little bit so it, it looks a little bit better but guys i loved so after i cured everything i'm adding top coat to all of my nails so i can assure that nothing's gonna get messed up and i noticed that this had like a dust on it or something so i went to change top coats and see but i still saw dust and i added a little bit more top coat because usually when you see dust or bubbles and stuff like that some people say that it's that you're not adding enough top coat so i added more top coat and now after everything top coated i'm adding cuticle oil because my cuticles are crusty and dehydrated and if you notice my skin is so burnt it's because i got day shifts and it's so bad but if you got into this spot please comment down below a red heart so you can let me know that you got into this place and you're liking the video till now but guys this is the end result of my nails and don't they look amazing i didn't want to take them off afterwards but with that being said, this is pretty much it for the video. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like. It really helps you to algorithm and help somebody goes out there. So if you get anything, any value in my content, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. But this is pretty much it for the red Christmas nail design.